welcome to Bickering Book Reviews. I'm Sarah. And I'm Becky. And so today we're talking about Amber Shears' The Whole Thing Together, which we got a, a digital arc from NetGalley. Uh, NetGalley. Say. So this we read digitally. Um, it is about Sasha and Ray, who share half-sisters, but they are not related and have never met. I could get into the whole family issue, very but it's convoluted. very com- complicated. Um, so they've never met, and they're not actually related. Um, So while they share the same room in their summer home, their worlds begin to collide um, when they start sharing the same job, and their older sister is getting married, so now their two families are coming together, and of course, drama ensues. (laughs) So that's kind of basically it on this book. Right. um, So there were parts of this I liked. I liked, but for some reason, I like really detached third-person narration, and this is a really detached third person narration there's like no emotion behind the narration i don't think i really noticed it the thing that i noticed and i think probably if it hadn't been third person it would have worked better is it was hard for me to know who the characters were because the family tree is so convoluted and the family tree explanations at the beginning of the book i was reading a digital copy it was hard to know who was who who's the parents who's the children how they're related and maybe if it was told through first person, you would get more of the um, personality to show through. See, I think I'd have gotten confused if it was always I or he and she instead of, you know, actually, like, breaking it down. Um, I did not like the whole... I didn't like the ending of this book without going into it. I felt that it was unnecessary and overly dramatic, for dramatic sake. Well, and, like, all the drama happened in a short period of right. time. Right, there's all this build-up. Um, it felt a lot like Jenny Han's The Summer I Turned Pretty. Kind of. It felt a lot yeah, like that. it did a but lot. But, like, the whole series condensed into one book. Well, and that was something Sarah kept saying. It felt like this is the conclusion to a book, like, a whole series. Like, there should have been all of these, like, other books leading up to this point. But instead, we just get, here's the story, without really a lot of backstory. Yeah, it felt like she was relying on storylines that she would have developed in previous books. Right. Those weren't there, so it's not like... You really had have to understand who these characters are in order to keep track with the storyline and without kind of developing those personalities. It was almost impossible. And there's a lot of people on, like, Goodreads and places are talking about the relationship between Ray and Sasha, because there is a little bit of a romance. Um, it's an Andrew Shears novel. What do you expect? It's, it's Shiro's Sister of the Traveling Pants. People go to Greece and fall in love. That's true. Um, it didn't bother me. I actually kind of liked it, the romance between Ray and Sasha. I thought there was something kind of sweet about their interactions through the emails and all, like, leaving each other notes and that kind of stuff. It was sweet, but I just... I wish it was more developed, I think. I, uh, I think I just keep coming back to it needed more development. It needed more. Well, like, a lot of people are like, it's wrong because they share siblings and all this stuff. Um, but I don't necessarily see that. Well, like, at certain points it did feel kind of incestuous. And I feel like the half-siblings, like, I wouldn't be surprised if they felt that way. Or, like, if you're having so much trouble bringing the family together for... The older sister's wedding, like, I can't even imagine what it would look like if the two of them got together. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I, I, it, to me, it made sense because, like, they were both in these very weird, extreme situations with their families that were crazy, and nobody else is going to get it. I mean, but couldn't they just be friends? I don't know. Not in a teen book. Well, yeah. I, I don't know. They could have just been friends. It would have been fine. So we should rate it. Okay. I'm going to rate it. Oh, I should probably go to the rating systems. So we've got up to five unicorns, but if it's anything lower than two unicorns, it is a horse because it doesn't deserve a horn. That's true. So I will give this book three unicorns. I gave it three unicorns too. I liked the basic narration and I liked some of the family stories and a couple weaknesses didn't detract that much. Yeah. So that's all right. And that's where we are with this one. Alrighty, see ya. Bye.